Welcome to another edition of Fashion Reform. I'm your host, Terrell Brandon. Today on my show, I will be interviewing two positive brothers, Julian and Sage Kim, who are making their way up the fashion ladder. Now, I want to talk to you about your hats because you do also make hats and sweatshirts and other t-shirts. Right. Um, could you go back as far as you could remember and tell me the beginning, what led you to creating your own hats? The hats first started with two friends of mine who we used to work together at APC. Okay. Uh, they were artists as well. And we just decided to make the hats because it was low costing and in terms of the production, it was easy and fast. Okay. So I had an idea with the hats, went to the friends, and they also wanted to do something. So that's how the hats came about, and that was in 2001. And at that time, right. we made the company called 100% Off. Oh, so so it was a separate entity as D Realm. Okay. Yeah, so that just went on for maybe a year or so. Right. And then after that, we stopped and then I just kept on continuing with the hats. Also, could you tell me what led to making the sweatshirts? Hmm. That came about after I graduated in Parsons, worked freelance for a couple of companies, and after that, took the time to start designing my own because I knew I never wanted to work full time right. at those companies. Um, and I was lucky enough where parents supported the way we were thinking, my brother and I, so they just right. pushed us to create your yeah, own and yeah, your own. Yeah. My brother and I just decided after those times freelancing companies, it's time to make a retail make, store and, and become own. a business rather than just working out of our apartments and making right. samples out of the apartment. Just keep it aside, business do business and then home is just for home exactly. uh, and then uh, right now it's all word of mouth in terms of advertisement so this year we need to really get that rolling in terms of advertisement and marketing because like you said not right. a lot of people know in terms of that we We're do have a retail store, store. Yeah. right I mean I right. couldn't do this if I was living somewhere else I can't be doing this if I was I'm back home, Florida. Okay. I go try to go there at least twice a year. Okay. Visit mom and dad. I see. But a lot of times when I go there and relax, I know that in terms of inspiration that you get, it's not the same. Right, back to. Them. Yeah. So that has a lot to do with it. Buildings, colors, music. Right. Yeah. It's not just other fashion companies that I get inspired by. No. You use your own inspiration. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What's interesting about you and your brother? I want to talk about the. The detergent and the bleach right. that you created, right. which is um, very different from yeah. the normal designs because usually they don't have their own detergent and bleach. Right, right. That's something that my brother, he loves to shop. And uh, okay. that detergent and bleach he's used before we open up the store. Okay. In our retail side, we try to get products that we were a customer of first. Okay. So we know how the clothing fits. We know about the brand, so the bleach in itself, there was a store in Soho which he went to a lot, but it unfortunately it closed down, so okay. he located the main company, which is naturally yours, uh, and we brought that over because we had the opportunity to open up a store, and that's how it came about. I'm wondering, can I possibly see some of your samples that you create that you may put out or you may not? Sure, sure, sure. Right. This is very interesting and it's cool. Um, the shirt inside of it. This I think this would be um, very popular. So this particular one came about uh, after seeing a lot of T-shirt and graphics because right. we try to stay away from the graphic side. And I thought it'd be kind of interesting if we 
put a lining inside a button up shirt. I want to talk about this one as well because this is very popular the end the sweatshirts. Um, this is one of your designs right. as well with the hats. Right. Which is very popular. Um, this is one of your items that I saw first. Right. That's our classic. Right. This, we dubbed it the Rolly because it's double layered entirely. Um, sweatshirts. Every guy loves sweatshirts. Absolutely. Uh, we wanted to stay away from hoodies for that particular season. I'm here with Julian Kim, who is the co-owner of D-Realm. Can you tell me more about, uh, as far as day-to-day -day basis, what you do, phone calls, etc.? Um, I'm like the uh, janitorial assistant to my brother. Um, the store wouldn't exist without him, but uh, I take care of everything that uh, he wouldn't need to or he shouldn't take care of whether it's money answering phone calls paying bills taking out the garbage uh, minding the store um, everything that is outside of the design portion of our company when you're not in here are you always thinking of possibly colors different things that you might be the truth right absolutely not <laughs> That's the truth. This is our research and development area where we come up with our next piece, next collection, next idea, next items to be shown for the customers. That's, so that's, that's the, the fun part when uh, different uh, age groups or different um, people from walks of life come in Absolutely. and they like what you do. Okay. That's all you can ask. Yeah, sure.